y'all, it's Anna Dlosky. Recently, mold contamination on baby wipes sold by Jessica Alba's Honest Company prompted a recall. The company's wipes are proudly labeled to not contain harsh chemicals. Well, they can add active mold to that list. Here's the deal. Every mother has an opinion about baby wipes because of experience. Whether some are proven too harsh, too fragrant, or cause skin irritation to the baby. So it's important to point out that chemicals and preservatives in baby wipes are there for good reason. To prevent mold and growing bacteria on something moms use on their babies multiple times per day. Here's a breakdown of some of the more common chemicals and preservatives found in baby wipes. Benzoic acid. It's a preservative also found in fruits and veggies. It's safe. Dehydroacetic acid. Kills bacteria and fungus. It's approved for use in food. Glycerin. It's a naturally occurring alcohol compound derived from plants or animals. Even the environmental working group doesn't mind it. It's safe. Glycerol stearate. Emulsifying agent. Once again, even the environmental working group approves. It's safe. Potassium laureth phosphate. Another emulsifying agent. It's safe. Polysorbate 20. Emulsifying agent and fragrant. PEG 75 lanolin. Moisturizer. Some people are allergic to it, but it is widely used. It's safe. Cetiareth 20. Emulsifying agent. Safe. Phenoxyethanol, a preservative that also acts as a disinfectant. Some studies have found negative health impacts based on high dose exposures, but the preservative is harmless at the minuscule amounts we're exposed to in real life. And even the Honest Company uses it as a preservative in low amounts. Apparently not quite enough. Because not all babies are equal, neither are baby wipes. Some babies' skin may not react well to certain types of fragrance, moisturizer, or emulsifiers, which is why choosing wipes is usually trial and error. Let's face it, everything about being a first-time parent is trial and error. What shouldn't be, though, is choosing wipes that don't have the right preservatives to prevent the growth of bacteria. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, ecsh.org. Don't forget, while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.